What's up? Be Operation Android here and in this video I will be showcasing PPSSPP, a PSP emulator that has been available to jailbroken devices for quite some time. However, it is now available to non-jailbroken devices. I will be releasing a tutorial tomorrow on how to get this amazing application along with the more difficult process of finding ISOs aka games. For the emulator but in the meantime if we could get 400 likes on this video and show your support for this amazing emulator that would be great as well as subscribe if you have not already to be notified when that video is released and you may be watching this in the future so check the description to see if the tutorial is already out now as you may have already noticed there is a bad side to PPSSPP being on non jailbroken devices and that is that most games will not run full speed on it. The reason being is that PPSSPP is built to use JIT decompilers aka Dynarex which can only be accessed on a jailbroken device due to code signing requirements. However, there are some games that will run rather well on non jailbroken devices you just need to find them. Usually it is older PSP games that are not big in file size, but these few drawbacks do not take away from PPSSPP as an emulator. To be honest, it is quite phenomenal, and if you're jailbroken with the ability to play PSP games at full speed, it is truly amazing. But I digress. PPSSPP is a fully featured application with tons of settings to customize to make your experience as comfortable as possible. Starting with the graphics settings, you have a multitude of options, however the most significant is the rendering mode, specifically non-buffered rendering which ups the quality of original PSP games making them look HD. The next significant feature is the graphics settings is the show overlay information where you can select to see FPS running percentages or both. This is really useful to see just how well a game is performing on your iOS device because as you know each iOS device performs differently depending on its hardware or access to a jailbreak. Moving on to the audio settings you can adjust everything to your ears liking but I usually leave it at the default settings. Next is the controller settings which are rather impressive with so many ways of controlling the controls, <laughs> no pun intended. Anyways, as you can see you can almost do anything with the controls to your personal preference, however I like to keep it default and if you're jailbroken you can connect a PS3 controller which is pretty awesome. Finally, moving on into the system settings which I highly recommend that you do not mess with because most of these are meant for jailbroken devices and utilizing the JIT in different ways. If you do mess with these settings it will just end up crashing the application when you attempt to play a game until they are set back to default. Overall, PPSSPP is a full featured emulator with tons of amazing features that runs really well on jailbroken devices. However, with it now available on non jailbroken devices, it is up to us to find games that will run well and settings to utilize the application to its full potential. I highly recommend that you all work as a community in the comment section below to exchange games and settings that you have found that work well on PPSSPP. Honestly, it's a pretty big step to think you can play PSP games on an iOS device and it's pretty freaking awesome. I will continue to update you all with games that work with the best settings and future updates that may make this emulator more viable on non-jailbroken devices. But for now, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video showcase of PPSSPP. Please don't forget to hit that like button because it shows me that you all really want the PPSSPP tutorial come tomorrow. However, if you're watching this in the future, click on the video to the left or follow the link in the description below to check out the tutorial. As well as, if you have not hit that subscribe button, I highly recommend that you subscribe to be notified whenever I upload a video, because I upload videos on the latest and greatest things iOS every week. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.